When it comes to Office software, many will argue that Microsoft Office is the best. But for many, the cost is too expensive. There are worthy alternatives, which I have recommended in other videos, but they just don't quite match up with the features found in the Microsoft Office suite. So I've come up with five ways that you can use Microsoft Office for free without having to go to an untrustworthy site. Coming up next on Tech Gumbo. The first way is to get Office online. Microsoft offers several of its Office products online that you can use right inside of your favorite browser. What is great is that they're all completely free. What's included is Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, OneNote, OneDrive, and a few others. Office Online does lack some of the advanced features that are found in the paid version of Office, but most people won't notice those features are missing. The most popular of all these is Word Online, and when you open it up, you'll see several template options, or you could create a new blank document. You'll notice that the ribbon at the top is very similar to that of the desktop version of Microsoft Office, along with the different tab options. When you go to File, you still have the options for Save As, Print, and Share. Here's what Excel Online looks like. And this is the online version of PowerPoint. Office Online has great compatibility with the paid version of Microsoft Office and can be used on any Windows PC. In addition, it can be used on any system running Linux, Chromebook, or Mac. The second method is to get the Office 365 trial, which will give you Office for free for 30 days. This is the full version with all the features and software included. You can install on up to five PCs or Macs and includes one terabyte of OneDrive cloud storage. You also get all the collaboration features that will sync to mobile devices too. You'll have to provide a debit or credit card while signing up for the trial and your card will be charged when the trial ends. So don't forget to cancel before that happens. Even though you get Microsoft Office for just 30 days, it gives you the opportunity to take it for a test drive before you purchase it. After your Office 365 trial has expired, I would recommend signing up for the Office 365 Pro Plus evaluation, which will give you an additional 30 days to try out Office. Once again, this is the full version of Office. On this trial, you can have up to 25 users with installation on up to five computers per user. Before downloading, you will have to register first to begin the evaluation. So doing the Office Pro Plus trial in combination with the Office 365 trial will give you nearly two months of Microsoft Office for free. Microsoft also has mobile apps for iOS, Android, and Windows to be able to use Office on your phone or tablet for free. Since very few of you out there have a Windows phone, I'll speak specifically about the Android and iOS mobile apps. If you're on Android, downloading the mobile apps for Microsoft Office can be complicated. If you're running Android 4.4 or older, you only need to download the Microsoft Office mobile app to access the entire suite of the Office mobile apps. If you're on Android post 4.4, you should download the new individual apps separately. For you iOS users, things are not so complicated. Office never had a bundled app for older devices, so all you have to do is install the individual apps. Just like Office Online, which I mentioned earlier for PC browsers, these apps are completely free, but do lack certain features most people will not miss. If you are a student or teacher, you'll want to find out if you're eligible to get Office 365 for free. This is not a trial. You get access to the entire Office suite for as long as you're enrolled or employed at a qualified school, college, or university. Here are some of the eligibility requirements. You must be a full or part-time faculty or staff member or a student at an academic institution and have an email address issued by your school. You must be at least 13 years old and of course have internet access. Every school does not participate. They would have had to have purchased an office license for the entire school. To see if you're eligible, put your school email address on this page, which I'll link to in the description, and then select Get Office for Free. If eligible, Microsoft will send you an email letting you know that you qualify. If not, they'll let you know that too. If you don't qualify, you may want to check out Office Online, which I mentioned earlier. That concludes this video. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if it was useful for you. 
If you want to try something out different other than Microsoft Office, I'll put a link to the top five free Microsoft Office alternatives in the description along with the other links. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to click on that subscribe button and then the bell notification icon for more free software options and other tech-related stuff from Tech Gumbo.